Imagine stepping off the Earth, the only home humanity has ever known, and setting foot on the other worlds of our solar system. How long would you survive? Could the freezing winds of Neptune or the fiery hellscape of Venus ever sustain human life? Today, we'll embark on a journey to explore just how long we could last on each planet and why. Let's dive into the mysteries of the cosmos, where survival is not just improbable, it's almost impossible. Our first stop, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. A world of extremes, Mercury has no atmosphere to buffer its searing temperatures. During the day, it's an oven at 430 degrees Celsius. At night, it's colder than Antarctica at minus 180 degrees Celsius. At night atmosphere to breathe or protection from the sun's radiation, a human would perish instantly. No oxygen. No pressure. No chance. If you stood in the shadow of a crater, you'd freeze instantly. In the sunlight, you'd burn. Mercury's environment teaches us one thing. Proximity to the sun doesn't mean life, it means death. Imagine standing on Mercury with an advanced space suit, how long could you last? Even with technology, life here would be a battle against time. Next, Venus' so-called Earth twin. Don't be fooled by its size and proximity. Venus is the most hostile planet in the solar system. Its atmosphere, dense with carbon dioxide, traps heat, creating surface temperatures of 475 degrees Celsius. Pressure here would crush you instantly. It's like being 900 meters underwater. And those clouds, they're made of sulfuric acid. Survival time, not even a second. Could Venus hold the key to humanity's next frontier? Or is it just a deadly mirage? Earth, our haven in the cosmos, is uniquely equipped to sustain life. It has breathable air, liquid water, and a magnetic field protecting us from deadly solar radiation. The lesson, life isn't just about existence, it's about balance. As we explore other worlds, we must remember the rarity of Earth's gift. Mars, the red planet, is humanity's next great hope. But how long would you last on Mars without a spacesuit? Maybe to minutes. The thin atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, provides no oxygen. Temperatures average minus 60 degrees Celsius, and radiation from the sun would attack your cells. Yet, Mars is the most Earth-like of all planets. Scientists dream of terraforming its surface, building habitats, and growing crops under domes. Could Mars become our second home? For now, survival is a race against the clock and the elements. Moving outward, we reach the giants Jupiter and Saturn. With no solid surfaces, these worlds are oceans of gas, hydrogen, and helium. Jupiter's great red spot, a storm twice the size of Earth, has raged for centuries. Saturn dazzles with its icy rings, but try landing here, and you'd sink into crushing pressures and deadly radiation. Survival time, less than a second. Yet, their moons Europa and Titan offer intriguing possibilities for life. Could these icy satellites be the key to humanity's future? Uranus and Neptune are the coldest, most distant planets. At minus 220 degrees Celsius, their atmospheres are laced with methane, giving them their striking colors. These planets are ice giants, their interiors filled with water, ammonia, and methane. Survival, impossible. But recent discoveries hint at diamonds forming deep in their cores a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Could robotic explorers one day unlock these icy mystery? Finally, we reach Pluto, a dwarf planet on the fringes of the solar system. With temperatures of minus 229 degrees Celsius and a thin atmosphere, survival here is fleeting. Yet, Pluto's frozen beauty reminds us that even the most desolate places hold wonder. 
Beyond Pluto lies the Cooper Belt, a region of icy bodies. Here, the sun is just a distant star, a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the cosmos. Our journey through the solar system reveals a harsh truth. Earth is unique. It's the only place where humanity thrives. As we dream of reaching the stars, we must protect the world we call home. The cosmos may inspire us, but Earth sustains us. So, the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember each twinkling light is a reminder of how precious life is. What do you think? Could advancements in technology one day allow us to thrive on these distant worlds? Or will Earth always be our one true home? Let us know in the comments below.